Hello everyone, so a video here showing that Abrams tank in Ukraine. This isn't the first video we've seen of it there, but it's one of the clearest yet, and it shows that they have a nice woodland camouflage scheme, and interestingly, the M19 R-1 dynamic protection. Let's have a look at what the Arat 1 armour is. So Arat basically stands for Abrams Reactive Armour Tile. It's a special explosive reactive armour fitted to the Abrams tank. Designed in 2006 as a response to the threat posed by Iraqi insurgents. According to the manufacturer, it's designed to eliminate the detonation of adjacent armour modules during an attack. Here's a photo of them being installed, so they're pretty hefty. So it's a type of explosive reactive armour. Basically it's a type of armour that uses explosive chargers to defend from other explosives which are fired at it. So the typical explosive reactive armour Features plastic explosives like C4 sandwiched between metal plates, which are mounted on top of a regular tank armour. When a warhead hits the upper plate of the armour, it ignites the explosive. The shockwave created by this then scatters the molten metal away. The upper plate flies in the outward direction and helps in scattering the molten metal jet. This is often mounted in the areas which are most likely to be hit on the tank. The energy is directed outward and the shockwave isn't big enough to damage the tank itself, so they are pretty useful. So 31 Abrams tanks have been sent, so where exactly? Well, all I can say is, this is near the front lines. Now, in my original video which I recorded, I did look at where this was, as a Telegram account did post the location. But then I thought, better to remove that and keep quiet, just in case Russia hasn't cottoned on to where this was filmed, and where the Abrams is being deployed. So I've cut that section of the video. I also went into a bit of detail as to the Russian units confirmed to be in that region, and what the Abrams would be going up against. But I trimmed that as well, so as not to give it away. Now, really though, tank battles and the like are very rare in Ukraine, so I don't expect we'll see the Abrams plowing its way through T-72s and BMPs anytime soon. Likewise, the big threat to the Abrams isn't going to be Russian tanks or vehicles like BMPs, but rather anti-tank missiles, Car-52 helicopters with their long-range Elmior missiles, mines, drones and artillery. It was this sort of thing which caused trouble for the Leopard 2s and Bradleys in Zaporizhia. Mines disabling them, and then drones or artillery to finish them off, with the occasional Elmior missile strike from a Car-52 as well. And I expect that will be the case here. If we do see a photo or video of a destroyed Abrams in the future, it will likely be as a result of that. But I thought it worth taking a quick look as what it may be potentially going up against. However, these losses are going back from January this year until October last year. If Russia is planning a new offensive here, then likely they may have sent other vehicles such as the T-80 and the like. So we can't really rely on what we've seen with losses in this area, with units being switched out and that sort of thing. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. Now before we finish, I'm going to play a video from Sanaf about an ongoing fundraiser. Thanks so much and take care everyone. Okay, uh, hello Sukumimus community. I'm Sanaf. Um, hopefully you've seen the earlier fundraisers that we've done and my relationship with Yuri and my connection to Ukraine. I'm here out in the east. I've been staying with the guys for a number of days. It is cold, the conditions are harsh, but our spirits are high. Um, with your continued support, we'll be able to get this over the line and keep this fight going. Thank you very much.